As the flu continues to close school districts in the Miami Valley, many schools are taking extra precautions. Districts in Clark County are closely monitoring daily student attendance for flu-like illnesses and symptoms. A uh, news reporter Deborah Bogart continues our coverage with the steps they're taking to try to keep the schools open. As of January 31st, there have been 95 flu cases hospitalized in Clark County. And here at Clark Shawnee Local School District, the superintendent says their priority on cleaning is helping keep their doors open. As school districts like Centerville and Franklin City Schools have closed because of flu related absences, Clark Shawnee Schools are ramping up their cleaning measures. We have added disinfecting efforts during the school day. We're hitting hot spots, is what I call them, or high contact areas. Water fountains, doorknobs, uh, sink handles. Superintendent Brian Kuhn says it comes after an alert from the Clark County Combined Health District that flu numbers are on the rise. Other things that we're doing, we are encouraging hand washing at school, frequent hand washing. We've got principals doing that on the announcements. Well, how do you teach kids to hand wash? You hand wash long enough to sing the happy birthday song in your head or the ABCs. Kuhn says he gets multiple daily reports from schools of how many students are absent. He says they're showing a decrease of flu related absences, but they're still keeping a close eye, saying the decision to close school is not taken lightly. We're going to look at student attendance rates, staff attendance rates, because you know we need our teachers here to teach kids. And if they're ill, um, we need to make sure we have an adequate number of substitutes. So we're looking at numbers from a variety of different areas. But they say prevention starts at home, so they ask if your kid has a fever, wait 24 hours until that fever breaks without the help of medicine before you send them back to school. Reporting in Clark County, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.